Hi, my name is Bill Hewitt, PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today we're going to talk about stiction. Okay, what we have here is a 2000 model F350 single rear wheel that has a severe starting problem caused by stiction. Stiction is a situation where the injectors have become gummed up on the oil side. Combination of oil contamination or bad oil can cause injectors to not work correctly. What we do with Arch Oil is we do a one-two punch, both the oil side and the fuel side, to be able to get the injector to free up and work correctly when it's cold. This is what they start like when they're not working correctly. Go around and look at the, look at the exhaust. Go over and just, just walk over and put the camera on the exhaust. What we're going to do now is going to put Arch Oil 6200 in the, in the fuel and we're going to put Arch Oil 9100 in the oil. I'm going to do an oil change on this truck and drive it around a little bit and then tomorrow it's supposed to be I don't know, 35 degrees like it is today and we'll see how it starts then. One of the things we're going to do here is we're going to do an injector buzz test on this truck. Now this is an older type device but they work great on the 7.3s. When we do this test you hear all eight buzz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you hear how four of them really don't buzz right? That's because on the upper end of the oil side of the injector, it's not moving. The injector solenoids are trying to actuate the injector and buzz it, but the parts on the upper part there uh, the metal parts are sticking inside the injector and it's not actuating. That's why we only really have four injectors trying to start the truck at this point. If you've got to start one of these trucks that's acting this way, don't use starting fluid. Use brake parts cleaner. It won't uh, poke holes in the pistons because I've seen lots of pistons get broken and piston rings get broken trying to start one of these trucks with standard starting fluid. Remember, there's a lot of compression in a diesel and if you put starting fluid that's made for a gasoline engine, you can hurt the motor. Ain't gonna start. Now once we finally did get this truck to start, you notice that it's not running right. Now we're gonna do a contribution test, which should show us that one or two of the injectors are not firing. So we know that at least a couple of the injectors are not working correctly, and you can tell when you press the pedal. Uh, just is very lazy. The truck has no power. This is very common with stiction. This is a stiction issue. I was pressing the pedal to the floor and, the, and it took all that time to get the engine to rev because of stiction. So now we're doing the key on, engine on, cylinder contribution test. Basically what this test does is count the teeth on the wheel where the cam sensor is for differences in RPM and attributes it to an injector or two or a cylinder or two. And it can't really tell, this test can't tell whether it's compression in the engine or a bad injector, but I'm very sure that it's just an injector that's not acting correctly. Now once this truck warms up, it actually runs pretty good. Glow plugs are good in this truck. We've tested them. It's got a brand new glow plug relay. Um, it's not the glow plugs. Uh, it's it's an injector stiction problem. Most shops would come in and put uh, new injectors in the truck. And there you have it. And there you have it. The conclusion of the test is cylinder 4 and cylinder 8. Alright, we're dealing with a 27 degree day here. Yesterday we took this truck put 15 milliliters of Artrol AR6200 fuel modification complex in the fuel. Put a whole bottle, 16 ounces of AR9100 friction modifier in the oil. Change the oil in the truck. Just so you can see, I've not started this truck. It's 35, 36 degrees on the engine. Hood was down all night. 
so it's a little bit warmer than it is on the outside here actually 10 degrees warmer so now first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an injector buzz test just so you can see how the injectors buzz cold how much better they buzz that's all right one two three four five six seven eight now that's not perfect but by god they're all later buzzing and they're buzzing a lot stronger because the parts inside the fuel injectors are moving correctly so now i have no break in this film make sure you see that there are no edits here so i'm not playing games with you know trying to edit in the motor after we've started so now here we go we're going to start it rekey the glow plugs here that were replaced before it got here we did check the wait for that check Woo, now that's pretty good right there driving this truck 30 miles. We drove this truck 30, about 31 miles. And that's a miracle worker right there. We did find a clog in the fuel tank. Checking fuel pressure to make sure it's okay. Fix that. That's the only repair we did. Look at that. Not, a, not even a little bit of smoke. That's pretty amazing. Now, could I have sold these people a set of injectors? Absolutely, no question. The man would have coughed up the money. But you know what? I'd rather develop a relationship with him and sell him to him down the road when he really needs them. Pretty amazing stuff. You know, the truck isn't warmed up. And she's ready to go. Look at that. Watch, watch this. It already has throttle response from just the first start, so there's no lack of power. That's one of the biggest problems with injector stiction is that the truck has no power. It isn't gonna it isn't gonna have any power until the thing gets fully warmed up. And the solenoids and the internal workings of the injector are now freed up. So now we're gonna go back and do our Keon engine running cylinder contribution test. And there you have it. System passed. Number four and number eight that were acting up yesterday are no longer acting up. Doing an oil change and a little bit of maintenance and the addition of our jaw has saved this customer a tremendous amount of money. Do you think he's going to be happy about that?